Tool's music has always been a conjunction of numbers and emotions, of math and feelings. Fear Inoculum took this to its highest expression. The fundamental basis of Fear Inoculum is duality and the alchemical union of opposites, and this is expressed in the music, art, lyrics, and themes. Though there are a number of subtopics which perhaps include breath, disease, alchemical rejuvenation, cycles of time, ascending and descending tree of life imagery, squaring the circle, the Saturn return, royal arch freemasonry, the flood, kundalini imagery, the great pyramid, a future cataclysm, and the recent history of the band, the central current throughout all of it is political polarity, balance of opposites, and beyond that, the monad. This will be an introduction and overview to some of the secrets I think I found within the album. Future videos will expand on what I will talk about here. Concerning the following esoteric philosophy within this album, my advice would be before you judge and immediately form an opinion about what I will be referencing and presenting, you should regard these things perhaps first and foremost as art forms that you do not need to immediately agree with or follow. They are tools to benefit the art of artists. Here's a short excerpt from Maynard's book, Perfect Unit of Contrary Things. He, meaning Maynard, entered into a sort of Pascal's wager with the Gnostic. Even if magic were humbug, he'd lose nothing by believing. I'll buy into it because it puts me into a headspace that anything's possible. It must be acknowledged that Tool have always been a band that has utilized the Western mystery tradition for the benefit of their art. The most important numbers relevant to the concept and found within the album are 3, 7, 11, 13, 17, 21, 33 and 34, and 58 and 59. Though the number one number that features most prominently is 7 and its multiples. It's in particular the multiples of 3 and 7 that are abundant. I'm assuming that Tool made use of a broad spectrum of philosophies and systems in which 7 is of significance. 7 is considered a perfect, angelic, lucky, and magical number. Tool's main symbol is the heptagram, a 7-sided star. Fear Inoculum is Tool's seventh release, at least according to Adam. Seven and its multiples is by far the most used time signature on the album. Every single song has cycles in which the band members play a pattern of notes, hits, and words based on seven. The seventh Fibonacci number is 13. Fear Inoculum, an album revolving around seven, came 13 years after 10,000 days. A major division of cyclical time, the week, consists of seven days, and the seventh day is the day of completion and of rest. The major scale consists of seven notes, the eighth note being the higher octave of the first note of the scale. White light reflects out of a raindrop at an angle of 42 degrees, a multiple of seven, and reveals the seven major colors of light and the septenary rainbow. One of the most classic systems of alchemy for centuries is a septenary system, these seven stages of alchemical transmutation, together with these seven classical metals, one metal for each step. The seventh and final step is associated with the sun and gold, and there are many solar references within the album. There are seven major wheels in the most common chakra system. A historical division of personal lifetime is called the Seven Ages of Man, popularized by Shakespeare, and aligned with the seven heavenly bodies. For millennia, the septenary in the sky, the seven classical celestial spheres, was the basis of astrology and astronomy, the seventh and outermost planet being Saturn, the personification of time and order. Saturn and lead represents the first step of these seven stages of alchemy. Fear Inoculum is Tool's Saturn Return album. Maynard has previously used Saturn Return imagery in Lateralis in 10,000 days. Saturn returns to his previous position in the sky every 29 to 29 and a half years. Tool formed in 1990, Fear Inoculum was released 29 years later in 2019. The first Saturn return, according to astrology, has an effect from roughly 27 to 30, with the intense years being around 28 and 29, and the second Saturn return from roughly 57 to 60, the intense years being 58 and 59. During a Saturn return, a person has the opportunity for reflection, to let go of negativity and things weighing them down, and can either choose to grow or choose to continue being ignorant and sink. Not only was Fear Inoculum finalized, recorded, and released during the Saturn return of the band, but Danny experienced his second Saturn return during the release of Fear Inoculum since he turned 58 in 2019, and Maynard and Adam are approaching their second Saturn return. A negative connotation of Saturn is fear. Overcoming fear is part of the victory of a successful Saturn return. Seven can be divisioned into three and four. From a sacred geometry point of view, three is classically representative of heaven, the immaterial, the soul, the circle. Four is classically representative of earth, the material, the body, the square. 
Seven is the number representing the squaring of the circle, the union of three and four, spirit and matter. And fear inoculum is tool squaring the circle, the perfect union of contrary things. The discipline of squaring the circle is connected to pi, 3.14, and tau, 6.28, which is 2 pi. Pi and tau are expressed numerically throughout many fear inoculum songs. One example is 7 minutes and 34 seconds in Fear Inoculum, at which point Adam, Danny, and Justin are in 22, and Maynard in 7. 22 divided by 7 is the most well-known historical close approximation of pi, and produces 3.142857142857142857 and so on. In other words, a 3 and an infinitely repeating fraction of a 7th. A 3 and a 7th. 3 and 7. Pi is part of the interplay between 3 and 7 on the album. During every bar of 22, Adam and Justin play 16 notes each, and Pi is the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet. The last piece of artwork in the booklet of the limited edition before the album credits is a representation of the squaring of the circle, which has the seven-sided vision crystal at its center. Another example is 7 minutes and 58 seconds in Invincible, and basically most of the middle of that song. Adam's riff spells out Pi, 22 notes per one bar of 7. The riff is sectioned into 5 hits, 6 hits, 5 hits, 6 hits, and this is repeated over and over again. This 5 plus 6 note riff is also expressed in the numerical edition of Invincible's track length, 12 minutes and 44 seconds. 12 plus 44 is 56, a multiple of 7. 5 and 6 is another number pair that has to do with polarity, male and female, microcosm and macrocosm, and that number pair appears multiple times on the album. In 777, Crowley asks, How shall I unite the 5 and the 6, microcosm and macrocosm? And later on the number 11, the great magical number as uniting the antithesis of 5 and 6, the magic force itself. 7 is the fourth prime number and the sum of the first four Fibonacci numbers. A lot of the album has time signatures and patterns based on 11. My official flak file of Invincible that I got with the second run of the limited edition through toolband.com is 777 kilobytes per second. I'm exclusively using the precise track lengths of the official flax and waves that were offered with that second run. I consider these the exact and true versions of the songs and this will become apparent later in the video. The exact center of the full digital version is at 2 minutes and 57 seconds in descending, at which point Adam begins to play a 9 note riff and Maynard holds the word infinite over it. In a bar of 7, Adam plays 9 notes and Justin plays 13 notes, together 22 over 7. Pi. 2 minutes and 57 seconds is 177 seconds, which contains the first digits of the square root of pi, and this all relates to squaring the circle. Pi is infinite. At the center of the album, which is 86 minutes and 38 seconds long, is the word infinite, which has an English numerical value of 86. There are many of these pi and tau moments across the album. 7 is related to balance. The 7th zodiac sign is Libra, which is all about balance, and marks the beginning of autumnal fall. Its centuries-old glyph is that of the balancing scales. Its associated element is air, which is relevant to Fear Inoculum's many references to breath, pneuma, and spirit, which on one level are all the same. The seventh house contains the descendant angular cusp. Saturn is exalted in Libra at 21 degrees, a very important number in Fear Inoculum. The planet ruling the seventh sign of balance is Venus, which is also the same planet associated with the seventh sphere of the Tree of Life, associated with victory, perseverance, endurance, triumph over fear, eternity. One major association with the mythological goddess Venus is victory. Fear Inoculum was released on a Friday, which is the day associated with Venus. Victory is also a keyword for the seventh tarot card, the Chariot, which has dualistic connotations. When Maynard sings Warrior in Invincible, he is, from one perspective, referring to himself. Maynard is an Aries, the first sign, which is the opposite sign in the zodiac to the seventh sign, Libra, and one universal keyword of Aries is Warrior. All of Maynard's lyrics on the album, on the personal level, are about himself and the history of the band. Saturn is linked with the tarot card number 21, the world or the universe. Crowley states, the universe is the celebration of the great work accomplished. One of the central keywords to alchemy is balance. Tool has employed alchemy, the tree of life, astrology, and sacred geometry for decades in their music, lyrics, and artwork. Concerning the concept, Danny stated, This has been a real seven-based record for some reason. All the artwork has been set up around sixes evolving into sevens. It's kind of the next step of our stage in evolution. Going from six to seven esoterically is going from the human to the divine. 
considering the seven Shakespearean ages of man, going from the sixth age of man, from around 57 to 68, and associated with Jupiter, to the seventh age of man, from roughly 69 to life's end, and associated with Saturn, represents going from reflection to resignation. In Requisant ad infinitum, the vision crystal evolves from a six-sided form to a seven-sided form. Alex Gray called the vision crystal a symbol of imagination and an angel. On the day of fear inoculum's release, the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Mars, and Venus were all assembled within the sixth sign of analysis and precision, Virgo. And as millions of people listened to the album in the following weeks, all of the celestial bodies moved into the seventh sign, Libra, six into seven. One of my interpretations of Fear Inoculum's cover is that it is two polarities coming together to meet in the middle, to find balance. The cover might be designed to give the impression of one spiral-like structure like a Fibonacci spiral, but it may actually consist of two separate elements separated by a third element, the center void and divider. I suspect the cover moment or cover location is depicted at 1 minutes and 42 seconds in Requisant Ad Infinitum. All of it is probably a fractal representation of D.M. Turner, the figure in Alex Gray's The Great Turn. It's also been spelled like this by Alex Gray. D.M. Turner is a personification of polarity, yin and yang, positive and negative. Alex Gray called the surrounding structure a polarity tunnel and eye tunnel, based on his polar unity spiral artwork. The subsequent net of geometry that weaves itself across the two sides of the polarity may symbolize the union of opposites, the successful balancing of the polarities being pulled together. Just like the cover, the logo and title have multiple layers to them. An inoculum is a carrier material for inoculation. Fear can be a verb or noun. It can mean inoculation against fear. It can mean inoculation by or with fear. On the title, Maynard comments, it could go either way. It's definitely a polar statement. It could be someone who's been inoculated by fear, and that's the only thing they know. The title could imply fear the inoculum, fear the inoculation. It can be vocally separated into fear in oculum. Oculum is a Latin inflection of oculus, eye. Fear in eye, fear in eyes. The cover is full of eyes, and so is Dean Turner. Fear primarily enters through the eyes, through the optic nerves, and into the limbic system. The mirror image version of the cover could be a view of the limbic system. It also has the likeness of a Mobius strip, a boundless infinity. The interpretation of fear in oculum makes sense, since the etymological base of inoculum is oculus, Latin for eye. Inoculation is also a winemaking term. Yeast is added to grape juice called must, and fermentation begins. Fermentation is one of the seven alchemical steps. One of the implications of the new logo in relation to the eye interpretations is a pair of glasses, a pair of spectacles. And folded, it produces the likeness of a syringe and possibly the letters OD, which may imply overdose. The lines within the O's could suggest diameter and radius, pi and tau. Some of Maynard's lyrics are Shakespearean, in particular in the central fear inoculum song, Descending, which forms a central polarity with Tempest, which I'll explore in depth in the future. In Descending, Maynard quotes the Hamlet line, to be or not to be. Just a few lines after this famous soliloquy, I discovered that Hamlet says, You should not have believed me, for virtue cannot so inoculate our old stock, but we shall relish of it. This is the only time in the entirety of Shakespeare's work that the word inoculate appears, and it's only a few lines after the soliloquy which Maynard quotes. In the context of the scene, Hamlet is implying that virtue or virtue's behavior can't inoculate, override, and change the lesser, base-contaminated fallen nature of people. Maynard. Like anything you've read about in history, like in terms of Shakespeare, there's always a comedy and tragedy element to all those stories. That's kind of the balance of life. The Tempest was Shakespeare's final major work, literally his swan song and epilogue. Maynard makes use of the alchemical green language of the birds throughout his words. When spoken, the title Fear Inoculum contains the name Enoch. In apocryphal mythology, Enoch was the seventh pre-flood patriarch. He mediated between the fallen angels and God and was granted insight into the celestial tablets which polymath, astrologer, and alchemist Dr. John Dee declared to have received through his scrying together with Edward Kelly. The angelical language they believe to have been given is called Enochian. Danny. I think it was more some of the older alchemist things, earlier works from the 1400s and things were more of an influence than the Crowley stuff. I've been getting into John Dee a lot. He's one of my favorites from that era. 
The main character of The Tempest, the magician Prospero, seems to be based on John Dee, who was a contemporary of Shakespeare. Enoch was informed that the surface of the earth would be wiped out, the eventual flood. This may have relevance to Tempest. The seventh degree in York Rite Freemasonry, the Royal Arch, contains the mythology on Enoch, the same subject found within the thirteenth degree of the Scottish Rite. Enoch lived for 365 years, a solar number, and Fearnoculum has a number of solar associations. Enoch was then transformed into the Archangel Metatron. The numerical value of the name of the first and highest sphere of the Tree of Life is 620, and the first track Fearnoculum is exactly 620 seconds long. The Archangel associated with the first sphere is Metatron, whose name has a numerical value of 314, which contains the digits of Pi, 3.14, and Pi is invoked in many Fearnoculum songs through riffs, patterns, and time signatures. Another number that keeps appearing in the structure of the album is 58. The name of the ninth descendant from Adam, Noah, the tenth antediluvian biblical patriarch who survived the flood, has a numerical value of 58. The ninth track, Tempest, a song invoking flood imagery, has a length of 15 minutes and 43 seconds, which adds up to 58. 58 is also a second Saturn return value. 58, together with 33, appears in several songs, like pneuma, a Greek word which not only stands for breath, spirit, air, and wind, but also for angel. The main full pneuma cycle at 1 minute and 35 seconds is 33. 33 is the sum of the first seven Fibonacci numbers, and over that cycle Justin and Adam each play 21 notes, which is the eighth Fibonacci number, and also 777. The extension of the 33 cycle, first played at 1 minutes and 53 seconds, is 25, so the full phrase becomes 33 and 25, making 58. Tool in the classic Latin numerological cipher of English is 58, where TO is 33 and OL is 25, and this may be one of the layers to Maynard's use of the word word in pneuma, which additionally seems to be the logos, the word made flesh, the light. Just like 33 is the sum of the first seven Fibonacci numbers, 58 is the sum of the first seven prime numbers. Later on in Numa, at 9 minutes and 18 seconds, Adam plays a 54 note per one cycle of 33 riff. 54 is the sum of the first eight Fibonacci numbers. So he's playing a sum of the first eight Fibonacci numbers over a cycle consisting of the sum of the first seven Fibonacci numbers. Maynard's words are Gnostic, and him singing Sun Becoming is simultaneously referencing the sun, since the sun's light is equated with Numa, and the sun, which may have to do with the apocalyptarian words in Tempest, and the allegorical implication of the return of the Son of Man, who will reign all over, which may be one of the connections to Enoch, Metatron, 58, and Noah. It's printed as rain. 58 corresponds to the abbreviated form of the name of the Archangel of the First Sphere, Metatron. Keep in mind that these things are used as metaphors and parables to perhaps make a point about cyclical patterns and potential future cataclysms. The title Fearnoculum has a numerical value of 138 in English ordinal. Fear equals 30, inoculum equals 108. Maynard shows a word, inoculum, that surprisingly has the same number value in both forward and backward ordinal counting, and this definitely has to do with the backwards or mirror image or reflection concept that some fans began to notice from the beginning. Adam plays the 54 note riff at 9 minutes and 18 seconds in Numa two times, which makes 108, the numerical value of inoculum. 108 is an interesting number. It's connected to the 24-digit Fibonacci cycle, which some overlay with Metatron's cube. The sum of the digital roots of the first 24 Fibonacci numbers is 108 in the first cycle. Venus, the planet of the seventh zodiac sign of balance, the planet of the seventh sphere of the Tree of Life, the planet of Fearnoculum's release date, has a mean orbit of around 108 million kilometers, which is 67 million miles. During the Fear Inoculum interviews in 2019, Maynard said the album was fantastic eight years ago and that he had actually been writing the lyrics for eight years. Venus makes a pentagram in the skies every eight years, eight Earth years, thirteen Venusian years, and eight and thirteen are Fibonacci numbers six and seven. A pentagram, the shape that naturally encodes the golden ratio, has angles of 108 degrees. 
108, the value of the first cycle of the digital roots of the 24-digit Fibonacci cycle, plus 117, the value of the second and all subsequent cycles, makes 225, which is the orbital period of Venus. The emblem of the 7th Freemasonic degree of the York Rite is a triple tau. Tau is the 19th letter of the Greek alphabet. In ordinal counting, a triple tau becomes 57, 3 times 19. Fear inoculum has a reduction value of 57. One of the subjects of the 7th degree is the remembrance and recovery of the lost word, which may be one of the many layers to Numa. The central polarity of the album is Song 6, Descending, together with Song 9, Tempest. Descending's lyrics lean more towards the optimistic to wake up and muster every fiber, while Tempest's lyrics are more pessimistic and accusational. Descending's track length, 13 minutes and 37 seconds, adds up to 50, and Tempest adds up to 58. 50 and 58 make 108, the numerical value of inoculum. Song 6 and Song 9 share major structural similarity. 6 and 9, the numbers of yin and yang duality. Adam on the great turn. It's basically this being that has two sides. It represents the two sides of anything, good and evil, light and dark, yin and yang. Six and nine, the numbers that are visual inversions of each other. The numbers bending around each other and the glyph of the fourth zodiac sign, Cancer, the beginning of summer. The same symbol used in royal arch imagery, the seventh degree in the York Rite. The numbers that are possibly visible in the logo. 69 is half of 138, the value of fear inoculum. The seventh age of man associated with Saturn begins at roughly 69 years. On the Tree of Life, the sixth sphere is associated with the Sun, and the ninth sphere is associated with the Moon, and together the Sun and the Moon are an emblem of the alchemical marriage of the great work, the archetypal polarity of male and female united in one. On the Tree of Life, there is the central middle pillar of balance, which is the child of the two polarities, left and right. This middle path consists of one, six, nine, and ten, the last sphere, where all spheres culminate in. Before the descending lightning flash reaches the tenth sphere, the middle path consists of one, six, and nine. The first sphere is associated with air and breath, which is a major motive on the album. Breath is syncretic and synonymous with pneuma, spirit, light, spiritus, ruach, prana, energy, wind, air. Adam Segway, Litany contra la per, is 2 minutes and 14 seconds long, and ruach, breath, has a numerical value of 214. 214 resolves to 7. This breath, or light, descends to sphere 6, the sun, and sphere 9, the moon. Song 1, Fear Inoculum, is 10 minutes and 20 seconds long, which adds up to 30. Song 6, Descending, is 13 minutes and 37 seconds, which adds up to 50. Song 9, Tempest, is 1543, which adds up to 58. Adding Song 1, plus Song 6, plus Song 9, makes 138, the numerical value of Fear Inoculum perhaps a representation of the middle path of balance between duality. 138 can also be regarded as containing 13 and 8, the 7th and 6th Fibonacci numbers, and 13 and 8 make 21, the 8th Fibonacci number, a threefold multiple of 7, 7, 7, 7, and 3, 7, and 21 are of massive importance to the album. The length of Tempest, 1543, resolves to 6-7. The vast majority of Tempest is in 21, or 777. Since Fear Inoculum is full of Phi and Fibonacci correlations, it is interesting that Phi is the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet, and Fear Inoculum, when abbreviated, sounds out Phi. The segues of the full version, Litany Contra La Per, Legion Inoculant, and Mocking Beat, are perhaps meant to be layered with calling voices. The three segues are exactly 448 seconds long, which is in the track length of Chocolate Chip Trip, 4 minutes and 48 seconds. Try counting the chirps and mocking beat in the right ear starting at 1 minute and 47 seconds. If you take the exact track lengths of the official FLAC and WAV files provided through toolband.com with the second run of the limited edition and you numerically add them up, so Numa's 1153 becomes 64, Legion Inoculans 39 becomes 12, and so on, and then sum up all those numbers, the exact value of the full version of Fear Inoculum becomes 360, a value symbolic of the full circle and completion. 360 is the total amount of internal degrees of a circle and square, 
another hint of the squaring of the circle. The 360 degrees of the circle is a universal symbol of the sun. There is an angle unit that is the same as tau, 6.28, and that unit is called turn. The great turn. 360 degrees equals one turn, which equals tau 6.28, which is two pi radians. 360 is also symbolic of a full revolve or turn of the entire zodiac called the great year. 360 divided by tau 6.28 gives a rounded value of 57.3, which is the degree of one radian. The first two digits equal the modern English reduction value of fear inoculum, 57, the value of a triple tau. By the way, the lateral CD had an additive numerical sum of exactly 365. This too seems to be the first time ever that this has been pointed out. There is a relationship between what's going on in the music and the track time itself. The particular timestamp at many, many moments in every song reflects what the band is doing at that point numerically. There's information within the numbers that shows up in the music of that moment and sometimes carries information about the song or album itself. For example, at exactly 3 minutes and 33 seconds in Fear Inoculum, Adam starts playing a 9 note riff sectioned into 3 notes, 3 notes, 3 notes. Just before that, Maynard sings Bless This Immunity, 3 words, which he repeats 2 more times after 3 minutes and 33 seconds. Bless this immunity in English resolves to three. Three words sung three times. Another example is nine minutes and 35 seconds in Invincible, where Adam and Justin play 44 notes per one bar of seven. 935 adds up to 44. Not only does this section spell out tau, since 44 divided by seven is 6.28 tau, but you can count the bar of 74 as a bar of 14.8, making it 44 divided by 14, which makes pi 3.14. 9.35 resolves to 9.8, and 9 and 8 are fundamental numbers to squaring the circle. I think this decision to link the mathematical structure of these songs with the passage of time and the track lengths might be one of the reasons why Tool spent so much time writing and arranging this album. There are many more of these correlations. Danny, we all completely believe in every bar, not just every verse, every chorus. Every bar is scrutinized, and that is the result of what you will hear on this record. I'll end this video with an interesting observation I made about a moment in Tempest. During the Fear Inoculum interviews, Justin mentioned several times that there is a riff in the song that might predate him joining the band, and that riff seems to be either 146 or its slight variation at 159. I suspect that the Return to Opiate, their first major song, and the as of yet still unreleased recording of a new version together with a new music video was done as a kind of preparation for Fear Inoculum in the vein of reflection on their career. In a newsletter from 2016, Blair Mackenzie Blake, friend of Danny and Tool's newsletter writer, mentions that after the success of Opiate and Undertow, Tool's rehearsal space was refurbished with new additions, including an arcade game called Tempest. A major climactic moment in Tempest begins at exactly 1034, at which point Adam begins to play 17 notes in one bar of 21-8. The full cycle can be counted as 21-4, which Danny plays with his right hand, while his feet play 27 hits per one bar of 21-8. Within the 21-4 cycle, Adam plays 2 times 17, 34 notes, the ninth Fibonacci number, which is present in the track time at that exact moment, 10 minutes and 34 seconds, and the ninth song Tempest, which is filled with nines, and Tempest has a numerical value of 34 in the septenary table. In one cycle of 21-4, Danny's double bass hits sum up to 2 times 27, 54, the sum of the first eight Fibonacci numbers, and in the full section from 1034 to 1057, before Adam plays the next riff, Downey plays the 54 hits two times, spelling out 108 and the numerical value of inoculum. 1034. Opiate was released on March 10th, 1992. Fear Inoculum was released August 30th, 2019. 10,034 days later a value within the beginning of a Saturn return.